and I commend it to the House. Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to stand in support uh, of this bill, and uh, I too would like to add my uh, congratulations to uh, the uh, member for Rangitike, Ian McKelvey, a uh, fine former chair of the Primary Production Committee, uh, for uh, bringing this bill to the House. Uh, this, is a, um, this is a very real issue which is uh, affecting um, farmers, uh, agribusinesses, uh, the length and breadth of the country, and uh, it's um, it's very welcome. It's very welcome, and I think uh, I'm particularly looking forward to uh, submissions that will come, so we can hopefully maybe flesh it out, um, add further scope to the bill, perhaps, um, to ensure that uh, we're, it, we're actually achieving uh, what we want to achieve, which is to deter and to appropriately, I guess, punish um, offenders, thieves, stock, stock theft. And uh, so I, I do um, appreciate the contributions, like from Mr. Hughes, in terms of looking at uh, what is actually will it actually have an effect in terms of influencing, or what what, ex what happens at, at the moment in terms of the criminal justice system and the the dealing of um, stock thieves uh, in the court system. Uh, but but I also uh, like to acknowledge uh, Mr. McCalvey for for for. Uh, maybe encouraging us to look at the scope of this bill to include um, uh, further offences such as perhaps um, theft of uh, beehives, which we know is quite uh, quite a big issue for the Manuka honey industry, um, and uh, uh, and also uh, just the the the, uh, the issue of forfeiture of property forfeiture of property involved in the commissioning of these offences. And uh, I, I think some merit could be had by uh, examining the provisions of the Fisheries Act, uh, in particular sections 255, 255A and 256, which, um, uh, which um, impose forfeiture of property, uh, of property uh, for those uh, fish thieves, uh, to use the term, which is, I guess, equivalent to uh, stock thieves uh, or livestock uh, rustling. R uh, so I think there is some merit in, in perhaps looking at that, those provisions and seeing if, if an equivalent type provision could apply uh, uh, in this particular bill. Um, because I guess for all intents and purposes the impact is the same and uh, why not forfeit uh, property that is used to uh, to um, commit theft of, of other people's property in, in their livestock. And I look at some of these examples, uh, Mr Speaker. We, we are seeing um, massive premeditated, sophisticated operations uh, that are, it's not just the odd, the odd uh, you for a, for a kai. We're looking at, uh, in one case in 2016, uh, in the Rangitata, Ashburton district, um, of uh, 500 cattle disappearing. 500 cattle, that is a, um, you know, quite, quite a, it's an amazingly large number of stock to just uh, disappear. So in those instances we are looking at quite sophisticated operations and there is a lot of profiteering uh, happening along the supply chain uh, from those that are involved in com committing these offences. And so I think uh, looking at forfeiture provisions, which has been um, raised by federated farmers could also be of benefit uh, for inclusion uh, into this bill. And so, sir, what we're wanting to do with this bill is add that deterrent, um, make it an aggravating factor for those that are apprehended and put through the criminal justice system and are ultimately sentenced, uh, but also we're wanting to bolster uh, the, the already brave efforts that are, are being undertaken by the uh, rural communities themselves. And I, I'd like to acknowledge um, the close uh, CCTV cameras, um, capturing number plates and the like, all of those initiatives that are going on um, ar around the country to try and um, apprehend offenders, deter offenders, and hopefully this bill, sir, will just be another step, another element uh, which 
will ultimately defer, deter those offenders so we can protect our livestock and so we can add to the wealth of our rural communities, our exporters and our Aotearoa in general. Kia ora tata. Um, I call Ian McAlvey, five minutes in reply. Thank you, Mr Speaker.